Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm an animator here at the Manitoba Museum. And today we're going to be talking about how we can have fun with sound by making our own telephones at home. Now before we do that, we need to understand how sound travels. Now all sounds have one thing in common. From horns honking to dogs barking, hiccups and even guitar music, they all create vibrations. And vibrations are necessary for sound. Second, we're going to talk about how sound travels. And in order to do that, we're going to use the great big sound dish that's right here behind me. So these sound dishes are like great big mirrors for sound waves. When I talk into the ring, the vibrations from my voice bounce off of the dish and are collected by the other one. So Luke can hear me all the way across the room. Hello! To make your own telephone, what you will need is string, two tin cans, clean from the recycling bin, any size will work, two washers, duct tape, I chose yellow, a nail and a hammer and an adult to help you use them safely, tape and colored paper if you would like to decorate them. First, get an adult to help you take the duct tape and wrap it around the top of the tin can. This will safely cover any sharp edges. Then we need to poke a hole through the bottom of the can. To do that, get an adult to help you use the hammer and just hammer the nail in. Now this is the right size for us to put the string through the bottom of the can. Once you run the string through the can, use your washer to tie a knot at the end of it. This will allow you to pull really tightly on the string without it popping back through the hole in the bottom of the can. After you've tied the washer down, do the same with the other can and then we'll be ready to use our phones. When you're finished assembling your telephone, you can even take some paper and tape it down so that you can decorate your phone just like we did with this one. And now our phone is ready to use. To use your telephone, you will need two people. Stand as far apart as the string will let you and make sure to pull tightly on it. When you talk into the can, the vibrations from your voice travel across the string and to the other end so that Luke can hear me. Hello! If you put your fingers on the string, you can even feel the vibrations as they travel through. If only I could figure out how to text on this thing.